In a previous video series, I took a look at building one of these 1cc model airplane engines and I stuck it on the nose of one of my airplanes and went flying with maybe less than optimal results. So I got to thinking and if one cylinder is not quite enough then maybe two cylinders will be. So here's what I came up with. This is more or less the same engine with just a few adjustments and it's just basically two of them stuck together. Which will make for two cc's displacement. In this video we'll go ahead and make the crankcase. This looks a little more complex than it is. If we break it down into all its individual operations it should go pretty quick. Well, that's enough computer stuff, let's get to it. I prepped a few blanks off camera just to save us a little time. These are 6061 alumina. Our first stop is on the lathe to turn the main crankcase volumes. With the first side complete, I went ahead and made this little plug so we can clamp on it and we can turn the other side without crushing this side. Now it's on to the milling machine to drill the mounting holes for the front bearing housing and the rear cover. For the next few operations, we just want the top half. This face here is where the cylinders will bolt onto.
The last step for the top half is this angled feature. That's it for the top half. For the bottom half, we still got to round it off. So I made a few of these plugs that are the right diameter. So now we can clamp it in a vise and file it down to the plugs. I'll use the milling machine to take most of the material off. That'll save me a lot of time in filing. And now for the fun part. This always seems like it takes forever, but it actually only took about 20 minutes. I gave it a bit of a buff with some emery paper. And there's the finished crankcase. Well, it's not totally finished. We still gotta put a few mounting holes in it. But once we got a few more of the parts made, we'll put it in the airplane and mark out where they need to go. Thanks for watching.